Thank you, Martin. Hi, everybody. So uh, my name is Lupo Stoilov. I will uh, show you one of our projects uh, in Implenia. This is the project Triclang is a hospital. Um, something about me. Um, I'm uh, head of uh, BIM in the division buildings at, um, at Implenia. Uh, so I saw Christian's um, uh, company in the map is not in Switzerland, so uh, I'm still in the biggest construction company in Switzerland. <laughs> um, I started my uh, working life as a metal constructor, so uh, worked also as foreman. Then uh, in the Swiss military, uh, in the military disaster relief as a first lieutenant. Um, I worked as a software developer for CFM uh, BIM software about uh, six uh, years long and uh, changed to BIM management and whole coordination. So uh, this is something short about me. Last year, uh, I'm since last year certified uh, as uh, in VDC. Um, so I will show you um, where I have located the, uh, the different use cases in the VDC framework. Um, and uh, here is the project uh, Dreiklang, uh, means three dimensions in harmony. And there is a concept, um, bedside station, functional areas, and uh, ambulatories, the fundamental um, idea dominates the concept. So uh, it's important that they are short distances for the staff and the patients. Uh, some facts and metrics. Uh, this hospital has a floor area about uh, 110,000 square meters. Um, Floor space, 53,000, and this is a ratio from 2.06. They are 472 uh, inpatients beds, 100 day clinic places, and 21 surgery rooms. Um, here, uh, some facts. We have 300 submodels uh, in the coordination model. So uh, they were uploaded 3,500 IFC models. Uh, they are in the models 950,000 components. Uh, this means they are 19 million uh, informations located in there. We are using 23 uh, different softwares. Um, they are around about 11 we are uh, using as in Plenia, and the other softwares are using by the other contractors. We have uh, 35 BIM personnel on this project, and uh, they are 23 planning companies and subcontractors till now. And uh, till now we have 25,000 or more issues since the project starts. Uh, now we came to the digital tools and interdisciplinary work. So uh, here is the software concept. Uh, you see there is a Tink project uh, in the middle, uh, quietly prominent. Um, when the project starts, uh, this was the project room. So now we also integrated Dialogs in this project uh, since January and uh, automated this project. So we don't change all. The process is still the same. So the planners are uploading their, um, uh, their um, uh, models and plans uh, still in this thing project. And with this, uh, we programmed uh, API. So when the model's uh, status changes, um, uh, the process will start, so and synchronization will go directly to Dialogs. 
and uh, Dalux is now uh, important for us, uh, for the building site. The people are working there uh, with uh, digital tools, so uh, a lot of the work uh, uh, was made paperless. We have uh, here the coordination process, um, uh, the coordination process uh, uh, well, so every two weeks, uh, project meetings are aligned. So with, uh, in this BIM cycle, uh, we used at this time a lot uh, as a CD platform, also Revisto. And they are 100 people located. So all the issues uh, uh, were um, split it to about 100 people and uh, uh, the controlling part of them. Uh, we made, of course, model-based collaboration, so um, uh, rule-based model coordination uh, as a part of automatis automatization. Uh, 2D plan verification takes place in combination with the BIM model, a uh, model checked by a contractor before assembly and workshop planning. Client has access to current coordination model and to the issues. Uh, for the operating system, uh, we used a method in closed BIM uh, and exchanged uh, native files. Uh, this was a challenge uh, because uh, the standards were then not so clear and the interfaces, uh, the result was we had the coordination model, uh, 2D plans and the room book, what was uh, very important at this time. Um, and it was the basic for planning, execution, and operation. And uh, here the same for the space studies uh, uh, with the same results at the end. For the visualization and the use case about uh, coordination, uh, we used virtual reality um, for tours, uh, but also uh, to show to the client and in a hospital project they are a lot of clients, uh, maybe 20, these doctors uh, want to uh, create their, um, their rooms by themselves, so uh, it needs uh, need to be checked, uh, do these uh, big machines and medical machines um, uh, uh, have enough place? during the meetings and the, um, uh, with these doctors and, um, uh, and uh, uh, the architects, uh, we, um, we have made uh, all via, via BCF, um, uh, BIM collaboration format. So all these uh, issues were directly communicated to, or, or, or decisions are communicated directly to the architects and planners. BIM to field, actually uh, the project is in a phase who we uh, started uh, with uh, um, installing the, the drywalls. Uh, and here for the formwork and reinforcement models, um, we have done all uh, directly with the models, with tablets, with, um, uh, without paper. So uh, the digital um, collaboration uh, was made with the total station. Uh, we had very detailed information. Uh, this means the high quality uh, models, uh, uh, the result of them was a high quality execution and less errors. Um, we see here um, inserts and break breakthroughs uh, on two pictures. So all the coordination was uh, made uh, with the models and the communication directly on the site. Uh, one uh, use case about this plant and this build, uh, we make here the, um, uh, we controlled here the, the quality of the, um, 
of the site and uh, uh, directly with the model. So uh, also here with the laser scan, um, uh, very important quality control um, uh, method. So we see here the difference, uh, uh, the, the uh, red uh, zones, they have more than 25 uh, millimeters of uh, difference. Um, we integrated also lean to beam in this project, uh, actually, for the MEP execution, for uh, collision checks in the planning, uh, type specific, specific processes. Uh, so uh, we uh, expect to have uh, less rework. Uh, we want to reduce uh, waste, uh, no uh, overproduction. Uh, we want to reduce uh, with these methods um, the costs, the personal costs, and so on. Um, we have in the unit where I'm uh, working actually a uh, specialist. Um, uh, the unit is Project Excellence and Services, and there are specialists uh, for safety, for quality, for lean construction, and I'm was a part of this unit um, and responsible for VDC and BIM. So we are working together to put all this uh, energy and uh, reach a high quality project. Uh, here's some pictures uh, from this hospital. Um, uh, the digital tools we used, um, tablets, a total station tachymeter, uh, including optical accessories. So uh, also outdoor workstations, the, the initializing of these outdoor stations uh, that was uh, uh, made uh, last or two years ago, I don't know. Uh, Yves Cerventi, can you tell more? He was uh, directly included uh, in this part of work. Uh, we have in these outdoor stations a uh, 49-inch screen with uh, uh, 4K resolution, 10-finger um, touch system, um, enough power supplies to, uh, um, to uh, a short brightening time in case of failure, uh, power failure or to replace the, the, um, this outdoor workstation to another part. Uh, a direct connection, an internet connection, or a 4G, uh, Wi-Fi antennas, and uh, heating and validation system, so they can be also used in winter. Uh, the construction management field, uh, beam to field construction management in Implenia, uh, we are actually uh, working with Daluk, so the pending management and checklists are directly using in the CD, uh, the photo documentation, plan and model viewer construction diary, we made it with 360 degrees um, uh, pictures and uh, walk arounds. Uh, and also the change management and redlining. A spilt and, uh, and documentation beam to a spilt is uh, the basis for uh, subsequent building operation. Uh, we own a spilt model to um, our um, um, uh, to, uh, to the hospital project um, uh, owners. Uh, the major challenge for the coming years uh, is this, because this is uh, one of the biggest projects uh, in the division buildings. Uh, and we are using new technologies uh, to help with the documentation and tracking. Uh, also for the revision documentation, um, uh, we need search of all revision documentation on one platform. Uh, we are filling continuously uh, the pro uh, in the project uh, when we are uploading the metadata and written to the good documents. The subcontractors are um, uploading directly their documents uh, and we are linking the documents directly with the BIM model in this case. Uh, 
uh, who is in Plenia. At the end, uh, we are a leading multinational integrated construction and uh, real estate service provider. Um, we are uh, working uh, in Switzerland and based in Switzerland, uh, in Germany, in Sweden, in uh, Norwegian and France. So, um, some metrics um, about uh, the company. Uh, we are four divisions. They are real estate buildings uh, where I am, I am based, uh, civil engineering specialties. We are around about 7.6 thousand employees and uh, our five important values are excellence, collaboration, agility, integrity and sustainability. Uh, we have, of course, one integrated model as a strategy. So, um, in addition to all known advantages that digital building models brings, uh, they allow us now uh, to very easily integrate new uh, use cases uh, to this project and to the execution. Special thanks goes to the project team. Thank you very much. <laughs>